Uh, hi, everybody. Um, during the next hour, we'll go through um, comparing Cardiolog 2010 and SharePoint, SharePoint 2010 Web Analytics. Um, our agenda is as following. Um, it will be um, divided into two main sections. Uh, or the first one, um, um, I named it uh, What's New in SharePoint 2010, and I'll talk about the new and existing, uh, new and old um, web analytics features in comparison to Moss and also in comparison to what Cardiolog can offer um, on those same, fe same features. I'll, I'll be talking about reporting features and the actual web analytics reports. On the second half of our um, of my presentation, I'll talk about those features and reports which are unique for Cardiolog and which cannot be found and are not provided with SharePoint 2010. So I'll start off with speaking about SharePoint 2010 and what kind of web analytics it brings with it. And you can see here a comparison chart with Moss and with Cardiolog. Um, truth is that there's not too much of uh, new features with SharePoint 2010 in comparison to Moss. Um, I've collected them all here, and uh, the first row shows um, a change in the uh, time period for the reports. With SharePoint 2010, it's 25 months, unlike the 30 days um, provided by Sh uh, Moss. Cardilog um, offers five years. Uh, the SharePoint team has made some changes also in regard to reporting access uh, in Moss. Only administrators could use sh the uh, usage reports, while in SharePoint 2010, just like with Cardiolog, uh, anyone can do that uh, if he's granted the right permissions. Um, unlike Moss and SharePoint 2010, um, there are some analytics on the web application level, in addition to the site collection and site level, which are also uh, provided by Moss. Um, export to Excel and uh, is something that was provided by Moss, and export to web part um, is uh, is actually um, a cardiolog feature uh, with with SharePoint 2010, uh, and I'll show a demonstration. Um, and SharePoint 2010 provides two web parts uh, in this regard, web analytics web, uh, web parts. Um, SharePoint 2010 brings with it some scheduling and email distribution and uh, alerts, which is good news. Uh, it has its own unique best bets suggestions, suggestions um, helping um, analysts uh, find out um, which are the best bets, search best bets. And also, um, SharePoint 2010 provides some who is online or um, online presence. Um, status, um, just like Cardiolog 2010. Um, as you can see, alerts and scheduling uh, and all of m most of the features here are also provided by Cardiolog, except for best bets suggestion, which, which is a unique uh, engine um, for the uh, SharePoint search. I'll go through some examples of those features I've just talked about. Uh, and the first one is the web analytics web part. This is new for SharePoint 2010. And uh, SharePoint 2010 um, provides um, two metrics with this web part, uh, the top search phrases and the top uh, pages or content. Uh, in this instance, you can see the um, top search phrases. Um, and users can also filter these by job title and department. This is hard-coded. There's no way to customize this web part.
In this screen, you can see uh, uh, some multiple enhancements uh, I've spoken about. The first one is the reporting period uh, on the left on the left side. Let me see. Oh, here it is. Um, here on the left side, uh, you can see um, different uh, reporting periods available with, 20, with SharePoint 2010. Uh, some um, um, uh, preceding day, seven days, 30 days, and you can actually select your own uh, time period. Site scope is uh, giving the av uh, ability to select whether you'd like the report to be generated for the entire site collection or for a site or, or for um, in, or including it even the subsites. So it's site collection, site, subsites, and any one of those. Um, the, uh, the next one is filtering. Filtering uh, is good for um, table reports. Um, um, users can um, look for specific um, strings and filter out the report um, to show specific URLs. Um, customized report is actually a misleading title uh, because uh, it's not really a customization. It's more of an export utility. You can see it's uh, under export in the ribbon. And what it enables is to export the reporting data into Excel in for further filtering and um, manipulation uh, through Excel. Uh, and then it can be saved, and then it's called a customized report, customized report. And ske scheduling and alerts is uh, another new feature for SharePoint 2010. And uh, I'll talk about this feature um, in a moment. As you can see, online presence is another feature provided by SharePoint, SharePoint 2010. Uh, every user uh, which is displayed uh, within the portal has a status icon, and this happens in lists in the My Site um, my site uh, portals or sites, and also in a new web part named uh, site users. It's a list of users and their online status. Alerts and uh, scheduled reports are achieved in SharePoint 2010. Uh, with a new uh, workflow task named uh, Web Analytics Workflow. And you can either um, set a scheduled report to run and this be distributed to uh, uh, recipients or an alert. And both uh, the report and the alert um, are correspond to six different metrics page views, unique visitors, referrers, search queries, failed queries, and queries with zero click-through. And with these metrics, you can um, send alerts um, whenever uh, they, uh, the, uh, these metrics meet a, a specific condition or whether they meet any specific comparison condition, uh, meaning whether um, these metrics have raised or uh, in comparison to a uh, um, previous period ch changed in any way. Um, I'd like to show uh, Cardio 2010 um, features. Um, which correspond to the features that I've spoken till now. So I've spoken about SharePoint reporting period uh, and the ability to um, set any period um, from a day to um, 25 months. And Cardiolog 
uh, obviously this is achievable too. 